Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marco of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. I'm still on Luke chapter 9, the experience of Jesus on the mountaintop with Elijah and Moses. Now there are various personalities over there. Of course, there's the personality of the disciples, James, John, and Peter, whom he took. And the purpose of taking them was for them to go and pray. Now, the Bible says, now, when they went, you remember, in Luke chapter 9, I'm not too sure they prayed. But they were watching Jesus more. The Bible says, now, as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance changed, and his raiment also changed. Now, guess what? Then Elijah and Moses came down, and they spoke to Jesus. Now, the Bible says, after the event, after everything had taken place, Moses and Elijah now departing and all that in a cloud and all those things. Then Peter comes up and says, Lord, you know something? It's good that we are here. <laughs> I mean, let's build one tabernacle for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. And of course, I will be the gate man. And Peter made that statement. And if you look at it on the, on, on the outside, on just on the periphery of what he said, was was okay. But I said, wait, wait a minute. He took them to go and pray. He prayed. They were not. He received a divine visitation and a divine revelation. They did not. They were just spectators to what he experienced. So they saw what he experienced, but they didn't experience what he saw. So the disciples saw what Jesus experienced, but they didn't experience what Jesus, one experience, saw and heard. They didn't. But yet, they were all on the mountaintop. How sad it is, you know, sometimes in church, or sometimes in the fellowship, or sometimes in a great move of God, some people would experience, some people would only be spectators. One way or the other, there are some people that we all gather around the same thing, but they don't buy in, they don't tie in into what is going on. They sit down and, then, and they don't buy into it. They see what is happening, but they never buy into it. They see what is happening. I don't mean buy with money, but they don't buy into it. They are not participants. They are spectators. Everything that is happening around them, they, they are just watching and watching and watching and watching. Nothing happens to them. So they come in the presence of God and they go back the same. They come in the presence of God and they go back the same. So great experience is happening around them. Great revelation, great transformations happening all around them. But they don't have what it takes to be part of it. They don't have what it takes to be part of it. Because they never bought in. They never became players. They, they were just spectators. They never played the game. And this is what happens. you will be very surprised. So we have a lot of people who go to church. We have a lot of people who always sit down and say, well, we went, I mean, there's an anointing in the place, but there's no transformation in their lives. There's no revelation in their life. There's no transformation. In their, there's no revelation that will transform them. There's no information that they gather for tomorrow because they are just spectators and not participants. They are spectators and they are not players. How sad it is in the house of God so at the same mount, there's somebody who is experiencing great revelation and great transformation. And there are people who are just seeing, but nothing happens to them. No change, no transformation. I think it is a travesty. And I don't think that should be encouraged. When we go into the house of God, or wherever we, we gather, let's participate. Let's get involved in the prayer. Let's get involved. Let's not be spectators. 
watching who is falling under the power or who is who is who is prophesying. No, single out yourself, you and God, an experience between you and God. Block out all other distractions. Block them all out, and focus. And that's what Jesus did. The others were just waiting to see what will happen. They were not involved. So sometimes in a great move of God in the house, some people will be beneficiaries and some people will not be. Even though they are in the same environment, environment under the same anointing and all those things because they chose to be spectators. As for me, I'd always like to play ball where God plays ball. I always like to play ball where God walks. I'd always like to. And as usual, the choice is yours. See you later.